Greetings and welcome to another edition of Science Sunday here in our capital city at the Connecticut Science Center, of course, with Eva Ryle. Good morning. Good morning. So what do you have for us today? Some science that you guys do here routinely at the Science Center. Yes. Yeah. Um, so you know our uh, traveling exhibit right now is Forest of Illusions. Yes. Very cool. Very cool. Uh, if you haven't seen it, it involves a human-sized kaleidoscope. Mm. Um, so one of the really fun live science activities we do you can try is um, how to kind of build your own kaleidoscope and understand them a little bit more. Okay. Um, so we have a light table here, and one of the misconceptions about kaleidoscopes is that the tube that they're in, you know, plays a part. Um, and it's really actually about the mirrors inside of that tube. Gotcha. So I have these two mirrors here, and we have some shells underneath there. And if we move these mirrors in and out, you'll notice those reflections. Mm -hmm. The number of reflections is changing. Um, based on that angle and so the number of shells we're seeing in those reflections is changing um, so depending on the number and the angle of the mirrors that we have inside of our kaleidoscope tube we'll see a different pattern or a different number of reflections gotcha um, and so we have this one here that has five mirrors um, so if you want to grab a couple objects and put them in the middle we can see what kind of kaleidoscope. Okay, so we're going to slide these <laughs> under the table? Yep, you can put them under, you can put them on top too, if you like. Oh, so. So we have a lot of um, nature-inspired pieces because it's the forest of illusions. Should we go one more? Yeah. All right, oops. So you see those beautiful colored patterns we're seeing repeated in those mirrors are, again, because of um, the reflections bouncing back and forth between those mirrors and mm -hmm. then, you know, kind of magnifying the number of reflections we're seeing. If it was just one mirror, we'd see one reflection, but we're getting to kind of see many, many reflections now. So in a kaleidoscope, mm -hmm. you can often twist to change what the angle or positioning of the mirrors. Yes, so the positioning of those mirrors and then also how the objects kind of fall and move around. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, if we look kind of sideways and you can see this in our giant one, it has this illusion that it goes on in infinitely. Um, and that's just those reflections kind of bouncing off each other. Um, and multiplying the number of them. And here at Forest of Illusions, mm -hmm. you can actually, there's human-sized kaleidoscope. Yeah, you can stick your whole head inside <laughs> it, um, which is really cool, and then come and then um, build your own smaller one and kind of get to play around and see how the, the physics of that works. Very cool, and, and we should point out that, for, uh, that uh, Forest of Illusions, mm -hmm. it's your traveling exhibition space, which is included with general admission, but also part of a membership. Yes. So. Um, Great membership, and now is the best time to get one. Um, it's 25% off, which is our best deal of the year, but it ends on the 30th. Yeah, so, so. this is at the end of this month. Yeah. The month is almost over. Final days. Yeah, so season of science, lock it in now yes. for your family for perhaps a gift. You can give yeah. the gift of a membership. So a great family good gift. Good for an entire year. Yep. Okay. Um, you get access, like you said, to all of our traveling exhibits, um, reduced parking rate, uh, access to reciprocal museums as well. Um, and then we have exclusive member events that you can access to. So many cool benefits. Yeah. All right. And so ctsciencecenter.org is where you need to go to secure that. So mm -hmm. Aoife, thank you so much. And of course, we'll see you for another edition of Science Sunday next weekend.